like a robo for that update. Well, let's take you to another top story we had prepared for you. Well, Kenya is set to have its first ever paperless national population and housing census in August this year. While the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics will acquire about 164,000 mobile devices for the exercise. Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich says the use of technology will enhance the quality of data in line with the United Nations recommendations. While the census is conducted every 10 years and the last one was in 2009, put Kenya's population at just about 38.6 million. Analysts estimate that the current population could be about 52 million. The August census actually will cost nearly 18 billion shillings and will be the first under the devolved system of governance. This is the first census to be undertaken in the new dispensation of a devolved system of governance. It is expected to provide comprehensive statistics for a wide range of indicators ranging from fertility, mortality, education, and labor, among others. The use of technology, as you have already been told, enhances quality of the data, as it has, in, uh, as it has in inbuilt checks, correction of inconsistent responses, and cross-validation with other records. It is also expected to enable faster release of census data due to rapid transmission of data from the fields team to the data processing center. It is worth noting that the Bureau has been using mobile technology in undertaking surveys and therefore has adequate capacity. You've been told the countries that have already embraced this technology and for the first time this year, we'll be also doing a paperless uh, census, which I believe will be a game changer uh, in terms of how 